Questions about love and marriage were posed to kids ages 5 to 10, and I thought a few of their responses were perfect for today. Uh, Camille, age 9, was asked, how do you make someone fall in love? And she said, shake your hips and hope for the best. And I think that's good advice. And that's what I heard Chase did. I don't know if that's, if I heard the story right, but that's what I heard. Pretty much, basically, yeah. The, the marriage is not what we're doing now. This is a wedding and it is perfect and it is beautiful and it is so much planning and thought and it is, it could not be better. But what it, marriage is, is what happens after this day. As wonderful as it is to be here today, the ceremony is a wedding, but the marriage is what follows this day. What makes a marriage is what you do tomorrow and the next day and in the following weeks, months, and years. I take you to farm beside me as you open gates and bottle feed orphan calves from this day forward. During floods and good farming weather, when the cattle market is high and when the futures drop. When you forget to close the gate and when you keep the farm going when I'm gone. I promise to love you even when we are working cattle. I take you to farm beside me as you feed in the cold and work on busted equipment from this day forward. When I lose my favorite calf and when you stay up all night with me trying to save him, when we sell cattle in the fall and when I sign below your name for a new to us tractor, when you accuse me of forgetting to close the gate and when we cook supper after dark, I promise to love you even when we're working cattle. <laughs> and so may I have the rings please? You are doing such an amazing job. Oh. What's that? It is kind of hard, I agree. Somebody's really tightened this knot. It was Riley. It was Riley? Oh man. Come on Riley, who's got a knife? What God has joined together, let man not separate. Chase, you may kiss your bride. Well, it's my privilege to introduce to you uh, today for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Chase and Courtney Cervoski.
wanted to talk about all Chase's ex-girlfriends, but he doesn't have any. for making Courtney so happy. You're an amazing father and I wouldn't want anyone else to be Courtney's forever person. Thank you for taking care of her and loving her unconditionally. I wish you both so much happiness and I can't wait to watch your love grow. I love you both so much. Here's to the amazing couple.